we have a custom sign up page and we host it and here's a sample of some of them that we have defined and I'll just I'll just use this taco box as an example within it our entry form we have the self record which is uh, the your information and all the fields associated to the information we request from that client each having being required or not and the length of each field we also have that for the spouse information and the children information so down here at the bottom here's your button names on when you add and remove names to it and then we have the success message which is all HTML based we have the sign-in form itself and then we have a thank you uh, web page as well going back to our custom web pages if we want to preview them it basically shows you the web entry so here's uh, Shoeless Joe's first name last name email address zip code whatever information you want and you don't have to display all this if you have a, if they want to put provide their spouse information you click on it you fill out their information if they have children and you want to uh, advertise to children uh, you just add the child you can add additional ch children to the database for the, all the f family members if you're requesting that they have a company information for work parties or anything like that we can either just provide you a URL for you to put on your website and it will tie directly right into RM Gmail. The other way people have liked to do it because they don't want to be redirected to RM Gmail is that they would just go in and copy that code and import it into your own website so that uh, you're just talking to our database. Once we have the name entry, uh, we have uh, a verify recent name. So any names that are entered in are put into the system and you can see who signed up. You can have different sign up forms for different programs if you're doing a kids club versus wine tasting or whatever. You have the source, you can come in, you can verify the names. Then within ProfitMax, you just go to tools and then go to download from rmgmail.com and it will pull all your new names into ProfitMax automatically. All of your names are retained in here so you can modify them. Uh, you can do a filter and do a find so that you can see the names that are in your database. We have an import a section where you can just uh, select which import you want. Uh, they would export in a CSV format. We would match the header up and then we would, using these tokens for the headers, at that point we would just import the file and it would bring it into RM Gmail. Because when they sign up on your web page or when you do the data entry for their information for their email, what we have is we have opt-in settings and we can enable the double opt-in and then we have the content here for when they uh, sign up, it's going to send this email to them with a link here to uh, receive a gift certificate and to verify their email address. When they do that, then when they get that email and they click on this link, it takes them to a one-time only verification page where you can give a, a certificate for 10 bucks or whatever at that point they can print it at that time it is dated with an expiration date of 21 days or 14 days whatever the default days you want for them to be able to redeem uh, the document center section we have email documents where you can import uh, predefined emails uh, then you can actually come in and you can define your emails you can have tokens in here for other documents that you've created so you can piece things together if you want to do that or you can just simply uh, write the email yourself here with all the controls of uh, the HTML editor including image links or your uh, hyperlinks that you want to provide inside the file within the documents we have our image manager so if you're not hosting those images and you want us to do that we have the ability for you to come in here and have a set of your images. Here's Nick's logo. You can specify which one's your default logo for other sections of the program. And then all of your other images, if you have some that are not categories for uh, marketing campaigns, some customers will actually just use a single image so that they can get the design and the fonts and the look that they want. They can add upload images and then uh, they just browse to their image. They upload it, put it in their notes, they submit it. We have a validation process we go through and to approve the content of the image and to verify that the size of the image is correct. The entry forms is if, if you're a beginner and you want to print out some forms. The email manager, you have the email stats for the emails that are being sent out uh, based on what dates they were opened, what the email open rate is, your bounce back for any uh, bad email addresses. 
is when you have a customer sign up for a program, you know, if you have a if you have people signing up for you know, a birthday or anniversary or a VIP program, what happens is that you can set up these automail processes so under the VIP program, you can have as many emails predefined so that you can automatically schedule the emails out to your customers based on a timeline since they joined. So on day two, welcome to our VIP. 15 days later, we're gonna send out VIP bonus. 35 days later, we're gonna send uh, membership has its privileges. Do whatever offers you want within those. When you go into locate modify, when you have your names up here, you can actually come in and you can identify the names that have the automo processes turned on with the little light bulb here. For those people that have double opted in and they, uh, if they're kind of shaded out, it uh, means they haven't double opted in. But then you can come down here and say, gee, I want to assign all of my kids club to uh, these three emails. And you say add selected. And then at that point, it would just automatically put all of those emails and schedule them for the day they're supposed to go out right at that time. So you touch the customer once and maybe you just took care of sending them 10 emails. You know, put one in there for a year from now and say, hey, you've been a VIP member for a year now. Uh, you know, wanted to invite you in and uh, have a drink on me. You know, whatever it might be. You have the schedule email. So when you run your event from Profit Master, you can actually upload it and actually schedule your campaign uh, in the future so if you're ready to send out your thanksgiving mailing for monday before thanksgiving and on that day it would automatically be sent out at whatever time you specify we also have our unsubscribe section so that any of your bounce backs are all automatically unsubscribed and then anybody that opts out from your email come in and they can uh, select it their reason why they're opting out and then they can give you additional feedback then at the same time when you do that uh, when you update inside of profit max you update your unsubscribe from under the tools section and so your unsubscribe page again we're going to uh, tailor this according to your specific restaurant you know brand your image you can set up your own opt-out reasons uh, you can add additional ones you can add notes and then that just provides a a personalized page where they're opting out for your restaurant and uh, make it very personal and then it just automatically cleanses your profit max database for you at the same time as well what you would do is inside of profit max is you would just filter based on the source so um, so inside of each one of these uh, sign up pages uh, when you uh, when you go into edit it one of the questions we have in here is what is the source so each form that you create can have a different source because it might be a Valentine's drawing or uh, because then you want to have that list of names. And then as you're bringing them in, I mean, uh, the is issue that you run into with this is that you end up getting duplicate names. But if you're always filtering based on the source of what they joined, then you're doing a much better job at direct marketing in a targeted fashion. Under the setup section, you can go to the employee setup and then you can uh, set up your employees and you can have an email message here. I can select this email for an employee so I can come in and just check off this employee and send them an email and they can click on this link and that will take them to the employee entry section where they can enter in their password that you control and then any names that they enter into the system will automatically be associated with them that person so that when you can go to the entry report and we can see how many names came from from your website how many names that you added from within your administration account and how many names each employee has entered in for you